Hello guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how to make multi-purpose liquid soap from scratch as a beginner, either for commercial use or personal use. This is a super useful skill you should have if you want to save a ton of money. This soap can be used to mop your house, wash your car, clothes and dishes. This is one video you want to save and recreate. To get this chemical, go to your local market and ask where they sell chemicals. This is what the chemical shops look like. As a beginner, please tell them to number the chemical for you. If you're making 10 liters, 20 liters, ETC, just tell them to number the chemicals for you. They will give you the measurement according to the liters of soap you're making. This number will guide you step by step on what to add from beginning to the end of the soap making as a beginner. I'm making 10 liters and it costs just 3000 Naira for the chemicals. Next, you need your mixing bowls and ensure the liters of water you're using is divided into two, half in the mixing bowl and keep the other half aside to dissolve the chemicals. This is number one. It is nitrosol. It is one of the cleaning agents. First, you have to dissolve with the half part of the water you kept aside before pouring into the remaining half water in your mixing bowl. Ensure you mix this properly. And this is number two. Sodium lauryl sulfate SLS is, a, is also a foaming agent. First, you have to dissolve it with the half water you kept aside for dissolving your chemicals before adding it to the remaining half water you have in your mixing bowl. Ensure you mix this properly. It doesn't form any lumps. Number three, we have texapone. You have to dissolve this as well before adding it into your mixing bowl directly so it doesn't form any lumps. Ensure you're mixing this properly. This is very, very important in soap making. Number four, because it's already a liquid, I'm going to be pouring it directly to the mixing bowl and mix properly. Same thing with the number five. I'm also going to be pouring it directly to the mixing bowl because it's also in a liquid form. The number five is sulfonic acid. And this is number six, caustic soda. It's also a cleaning agent. You have to dissolve it because it's a powdered form before adding it to your mixing bowl. Seven and eight is sodium sulfate. It's a thickener. This is what thickens the soap. Ensure you dissolve this properly before adding it into your mixing bowl. At this point, you have to mix very, very well. Number nine, we have the fragrance. I have two major fragrance, which is mango and orange mixed together. And my second favorite fragrance is lemon. You can't go wrong with this fragrance. Ensure you mix this properly as well. Number 10, we have the color. So I'm using pink color here. You can use any color of your choice. And first you have to dissolve the color before adding it to your mixing bowl. At this point, if you start noticing any lumps, there's no problem. All you need to do is to sieve it after adding your color. Number 11, we have our preservative. This is what makes your soap last longer. Now I'm going to cover this for six to eight hours for it to rest before adding it to my containers. Can you see how foamy it is? You can use this to clean your house, wash your clothes, and also your dishes. 
this right here is also the air freshener i made it is also made with just three chemicals just follow the number dissolve with the required liters of water it costs just 2000 naira. i use this by adding little quantity to my mopping water thank you so much guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section what you think about this video don't forget to like subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video to your friends and loved ones. Bye.